grief, it touches us everywhere. I'm currently handling the passing away of an aged, four-legged family member. My name's Flossie, and I live in this 1999 Ford E350 step van. She's my home on wheels. It is the most supportive place I can be when I'm experiencing deep pain and loss. There is such a juxtaposition between us as humans, holding simultaneously grief and a broken heart, and new life, joy, and the beauty of nature and the world around us. Loss, endings, death, are all so much a part of new beginnings, new life. Starting over is such a gift, a blessing. I originally come from New Zealand, a small island. I'm used to a shore having big waves. Hello, 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 everybody. We are on an exciting little adventure. Taking the van on a longer than usual drive in the pouring rain and going to meet up with Amanda. I'm pretty excited. Uh, we've been planning this trip for quite a while. It's finally happening. Apparently the weather on the other side of the hills, mountains is nice because it sure as hell is miserable right now. But it's a beautiful, lush, green drive, and I'm enjoying myself. Going slow and not worrying about the ever-increasing line of cars that is accumulating behind me, because taking care of my vehicle and its engine is more important, and there is a passing lane coming out. It's better to be safe. Being at the ocean and hearing the sound of the slap, slap, crash, 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 crash. As the waves hit the sand in their repetitive yet rhythmic inconsistencies. The west coast of here in Vancouver Island is like that. What lies out to sea far off is Japan. On the east coast, however, where I spend most of my time, is the inshore protected archipelago. Here, there are no big waves. It is calm. There are strong currents and tides, whirlpools and rapids. But yet, no rhythmic waves. No surf. No surfers. Is interesting and different. Grief is a non-linear process. It looks more like a squiggle than a journey to a destination. It comes up and revisit you when you least expect it. I made it. I got to the beach and it is gorgeous right in time. Such a gorgeous sunset. <sighs> time to just chill out and relax. And when I got here I saw a uh, sea otter. Now sea otters are different from river otters. Sea otters spend 90% of their life on the ocean. They are so buoyant and so densely furred they just float and can stay warm. And I saw one just lying in the water eating something on its belly. <sighs> this is truly, truly magical, and I'm so glad to finally be here.
here I am editing this beautiful video of myself and Amanda having a beautiful time at the beach and I am affected by the sadness and loss losses plural in my life with our beautiful four-legged companion passing on and my recent employment layoff this would be an amazing spot to dive not too much waves lots and lots of kelp growth lots of if there was a if there was a sea otter swimming in down here and also it's close to other land areas like grief feels heavy right now but yet, at the same time, I am grateful for the friendships that I have that fill my soul and support me through these times. This is so gorgeous. So beautiful. At the same time, I witness the rebirth of spring. In the Northern Hemisphere, spring is on our doorstep. In the Southern Hemisphere, you too are ready to go into hibernation. Fall, autumn, is creeping up. Picture that's Amanda. So beautiful. Things are retreating, hibernating, dying off, doing the last hurrah before it gets cooler. Here, the bulbs are slowly pushing their ways up through the ground. And it reminds me that with every death, there is new life. With every ending, there is a new beginning. And it doesn't make it any easier to say goodbye. We may or may not better get back around there. It doesn't make it any easier to hold the love and the relationship and the care and the connections that you have had together. No matter who it is that is moving on. This brings me back to when I lost my father. My father passed of bowel cancer. This horse too has tumors. I'm not quite ready to have wet feet yet. Grief is a non-linear process. It looks more like a squiggle than a journey to a destination. It comes up and revisit you when you least expect it. Proof that I'm up super early, okay? It doesn't make it any easier to hold the love and the relationship and the care and the connections that you have had together no matter who it is that is moving on <sighs> okay so maybe the sun was up an hour earlier than we were 
but it's still just up. That's pretty. I hope you can find ritual and healing and being along with this journey with me. And the juxtaposition of holding joy and connection and friendship with endings and loss and heartbreak. Pretty freaking beautiful. I'm a sunshine baby. This is me being birthed for the day because I'm really just waking up. It feels weird to be waking up up high up here. There she goes. Bursting past the clouds. Now let's go this way to the ocean. Somewhere? Question mark? I didn't know if I'd better keep it together doing this narration, and I have not. And I'm sure I will cry lots over the next few days as we go through end of life with our beautiful friend. I want to be grateful and share with you how much relationship with nature and creature with familiar, with dog and cat and friend and companion and loved ones, lovers and partners, how much it changes us, how much richer it makes our lives. This is an ocean view. Wow. That ocean. When we invest the time in our friendships, our connections, and our relationships, they feed us. But the more one loves, the more it heartbreaks when they end or leave. This is when the 10 year old in me goes, I'm on top of the world! I'm pretty sure I said that when we were in Arizona when we climbed that tiny rock. Oh yeah, possibly. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I'm a tub of the world! You just need to remember that when you're being dragged out of Siren. At freaking goodness knows what time in the morning. Not early enough. Not early enough in the morning. <laughs> Out on the lighthouse. But the measure of deep love is not how quickly you can get over it, but how long you continue to remember them afterwards and how much of an impression and change they left upon you and how much of them you continue to carry with you into the life, into the future, into yourself forever. <laughs> Grief keeps coming up whether it be observing the world around me and the injustices, the resource extraction, it's everywhere. And yet I want to hold that at the same time with the same solemnness. Luckily the tide is going out or I wouldn't be here. <laughs> like fake I feel like Ariel Splash zone. Am I in the splash zone? You're in the splash zone. I'm like, 
<laughs> with the same respect that I also hold the beauty of nature, the blessings of nature, the gratitude, the community, the friendships and the love that make life worth living, that make us stay together, help each other, build each other up in order to be able to continue. There is such a juxtaposition between <laughs> us as humans, holding simultaneously grief and a broken heart and new life, joy and the beauty of nature and the world around us. Sitting around a campfire feels beautiful. It feels healing. It feels connecting. What? Sunday morning, it says three degrees. Like, yeah, or more. You can put more in if you want. I love me so. Morning or more on. <laughs> yeah. Great. Thank you. And I am so grateful that I get to share these experiences with you. And I hope you can find ritual and healing in being along with this journey with me. here all of my arms just everywhere we did so much pulling ourselves up when we were scrambling and like lowering myself down edges and stuff you'll probably see more of my scramble in Amanda's videos because I can't scramble and film at the same time but it was such a good day and today we decided because of the rain which you can probably hear on my roof just to spend the morning slow and quiet and it's been so nice to sleep in I'm not I'm not usually a get up for sunrise kind of person so my body has just needed to pause and slow down and I'm just about to have breakfast and some tea maybe actually maybe a hot chocolate actually this morning be really lovely and I think maybe later on this afternoon we'll go out for a walk a casual walk to give our bodies a break and there's this thing that happens when you live in a van that if you you love being like I, both Amanda and I love being out in nature so much that when the weather is good we go balls to the wall we just try and fit in everything and I think Amanda feels this maybe more than I do um, as somebody who wants to hang out with their friends but their friends have day jobs and other relationship and work commitments so finding that balance of being able to hang out together and fit in as much fun and hang out time and socialization in the available times that we have I'm looking forward to doing longer trips together in the future and where that might end up and where we might go and what we might do remains to be seen unless maybe you're a Patreon and you may already know, I don't know. <laughs> Life is fun and I think sometimes bad weather and rain is just the perfect thing to slow us down, give us a moment of pause. Yeah, necessary, really necessary, which is good. I'm, I'm enjoying it. 
it feels important to give my body a break it feels important to rest and nurture and feed myself and slow down yeah so I have some hot water on top of the fireplace just heating up my breakfast tea and if you haven't tried this try putting a mint tea bag in hot chocolate mmm delicious I'm so grateful that I get to live the way I do, to hold space for my friends, to be there to support them, to be there to support my loved ones. Like this poem from Vicki Harrison aptly states, Grief is like the ocean. It comes in waves, ebbing and flowing. Sometimes the water is calm, and sometimes it is overwhelming. And all we can do is learn to swim. That's what I've done so far. Now I'm switching to the bright yellow wool. Pretty exciting. I have just finished finished a one day crochet project I've hopefully need one more ball of wool which I don't have so to let comes I can't really finish it but I've done everything else except so on the buckles it's exciting I have one that I have recently made of these hoods that I'm gonna put on my web store for sale that will be exciting I can't wait to show you in fact, I could probably put it on now and show you. If you live somewhere cold, this is the perfect winter hood to go over your jacket and it will have buckles to clip under the armpits like this. And then there's a cowl and a nice big hood. Isn't that amazing? And this is wool and it just looks kind of badass and then you can go like that and have a nice warm scarf neck so this is gonna be for sale this one will be for sale on my website and then if you're extra cold ta -da! made by flossy ta -da! I've got to find my buckles and then sew them on so that it buckles up like that. Big hood. Nice. I have work tomorrow so I want to open the back doors and mount the Starlink on my roof get it all ready so that I have internet for tomorrow, test it out, see what the signal is like, get it in its optimal position. And I need to fill up my diesel tank for my diesel heater. Let's go do that now. Up now. <laughs> Plug in the Starlink. Boop. Engage communication system. Engage communication. <laughs> Prepare for liftoff. Starlink. Dee -dee -dee. 
I think that might actually be louder than my electric chainsaw. Probably, <laughs> but I don't have an electric chainsaw. You want this one cut? Yes, half. Oh, look at the sun coming down the trees. Oh. So I said it might be a good sunset, actually. I did choose the knot to cut right in the middle of. It's best not to do that. Timber. Well, it's your birthday, so of course you're gonna get something for free. Yeah. Nice. Grief reminds me to love more openly, to express more freely, to feel more deeply, to live more fully. Grief reminds me of all that I have lost and all that I still have of all that I was and all that I can be. Grief reminds me the memories made and the memories still to make of what has been done and what is left to do. Grief reminds me that love truly never dies. Grief I've learned is really just love Grief only existed where love lived first. Whoa! This was unexpected. Hi, sun. A scramble when the beautiful sun comes to be like, quick, quick before it disappears. I cautiously watch the water as it moves along the shore, keeping creeping closer to the sand around my feet, beyond the crashing waves where the water is deepest blue. The ocean mirrors the depths of my grief. My grief is like the ocean, sorrow coming in like waves. <laughs> Once upon a time, a long time ago, somebody messaged me. I'm the random person on the internet that I was like, can I send you things? Can I send you gifts? Can I send you gifts? What's up? And now we're friends. And now we're friends. As long as you continue to pay your yearly fees in, in the form of gifts. <laughs> My yearly fee. Oh my god. What is this? No, we were chatting a lot. Yeah, we were chatting. But you did send good gifts to never forget you because now I have tattoos I, 
I don't know if I can even play yours with this chair, with this size. that are even smaller than mine. Yeah. Like they don't sound good. Like that just looks so precarious. <laughs> I'm glad that I get to in some way connect with you all and share my journey alongside yours. Thank you so much for watching. I hope not to cry in the next video and I'll see you all next week. And a big thank you to my Patreons who continue to support and who I share with in more detail what's going on in the moment. And I'll see you all next week. Bye.